Kyle Schmidt. So this year I'm teaching a class that kind of combines different components from different competitive shooting disciplines to show the instructors different benefits for each of the different disciplines and how to apply those to law enforcement or how they would apply to law enforcement. My name is Travis McCamish. So the precision rifle course I'm teaching today is based around the patrol rifle. So essentially we're going to give officers the ability to engage targets accurately and predictably past 100 yards. So most of the time patrol rifle shooting happens in close quarters but they need to learn to reach out, touch somebody if they need to and in addition, understand the ballistics internally, externally, and all the environmental factors that play into it. Let's is a great opportunity for officers to come through, take a lot of training in one week from a bunch of different qualified instructors and get different looks and feels and training technique that they can take back to their department and uh, better their staff. My name is Jeff Cotto. I'm teaching vehicle threat addiction and that's basically fighting from a, a vehicle inside and around a vehicle. What I love being an instructor here at Let's see, is uh, definitely the students coming in, the law enforcement officers coming in, 100% paying attention. They want to learn, want to live, they want to get better. They want to uh, dissect the information and you can see them applying it to their vehicles, their daily life uh, on the job. Hi, I'm Travis Dowdy. I'm a full-time fire instructor for Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The name of this course is Movement Under Fire and safety, confidence, accuracy is, is what we're after. But in this specific class, it's maybe an advanced application of that. So my goal for students is to have the confidence to do it uh, when they might need it, to do it safely, and in the end, accuracy. My name is Mike Clark. I work for a company called uh, Bertra. So the course that we're teaching this week is called the uh, Pistol Mounted Red Dot Transition and Sustainment Program. What it enables officers to do is bring their actual life uh, firearms into our simulated environment. We'll drop our kit into it. They'll get to run through an entire four hour red dot uh, training. I'm Todd Haller with the Snowmass Village Police Department. Been coming out here to uh, the Action Target Let's See Conference since 2007. On this range, we're working on uh, quarter second time frames, a little bit of shooter's math, and try to speed up what we're doing out there in the real world and, and still have good shots on target. In this course, we're really focused on uh, getting the, the visual part of shooting down a little bit faster than we have before. Paul Howard with the Six Hour Academy. Here at Let's See at Action Target, it's a one day condensed course to try to give them some tips, tricks, little nuggets to bring back to their police department. Uh, we had a lot of officers coming up taking the SWAT courses, being proactive, getting that extra training, just have the officers be a lot safer when out on the road. My name is David Acosta. Uh, I have a background in domestic law enforcement. This evening we are covering a block of instruction specifically in relation to low light pistol shooting. My flavor of low light pistol shooting is, is nothing fancy, right? It's, it's just an emphasis of focus on the fundamentals done well, done correctly. Understanding that shooting, irrespective of what it's for, whether it's tactical or competitive, whatever it is, shooting is always a balance of speed and accuracy.